a dinosaur, bro. <laughs> yeah, but look it. at that shade Liar. of green, he though. No, look, that's boring. That's on him, like, though, because no, never that's on the you. I like, really like the original because it feels like his best. Okay, I take it back. Hey folks, just want to be clear in case you skip the video description. These kind of videos are for us to have fun and blow off steam. With the nature of this channel, there's a lot of pressure to like walk on eggshells and make sure we don't hurt anyone's feelings or nothing gets taken out of context. But we can't be a voice for every single opinion out there. So whether or not your viewpoints feel validated by what we say here, this is just what we think. And I hope it doesn't hold you back from enjoying the things that you enjoy. There is no hierarchy. Hell, we'll probably change our mind on half of these things in the future anyways. So yeah, hope you enjoy this. Starting with good old Wild Mutt here. He's got three main appearances. OS. UA looks kind of similar, just some changes. <laughs> Ugh, I... <laughs> what happened to his lips? Huh? We also got the Omniverse one. The Omniverse, I don't mind. The collar thing, I don't like it as much as the shoulder pauldron from the original. Ultimately, I do think the classic one is best, though. Agreed. Agreed, 100%. They'll also... So, outside the main things, just to let y'all know, the wiki does have all of these other appearances listed down there, too. Oh, look, it's the Muppet! Yeah, these are all valid options to be the best. I love Wild Pup. So, this next one has so many many freaking options to choose oh, from God. we got the we got the regular three and then of course all these other forearms we all know that the best answer is heroes united forearms i i agree yeah. with that. i like it i like the tattoos good in between of every design i think yeah yeah i was never a fan of facial hair on him to be honest yeah, I, like with the mustache it, that omniverse did mustache beard goatee whatever you didn't like his having. macho man randy savage i like the build of classic forearms the most but mm -hmm. not really the design like i like how big and broad his shoulders are whereas like uaf and ov make him a little bit more human shaped like i just love messy proportions for aliens but yeah i gotta give it to heroes united forearms the ben 10k one's pretty, good, one's pretty too. good too yeah 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 he this one didn't change too much uh well it changed enough for me to not like the omniverse one at all i don't like the green suit i don't think it works that well I going love some the stripe down the forehead it is yeah. very, that is very good forehead stripe is like one of my favorite design elements they should have have never ever put the Omnitrix symbol on his chest. It should always be on his back, baby. When did they have it on his chest? Oh no. no! All UAF no, aliens have it on the that. chest. That's the rule. I'm glad that got retcon though, because it doesn't always work on the chest by a uh, biological. Yeah, standpoint. like I, I guys like the first that comes to mind. Like, yeah. you can't put the Omnitrix right there. I might vote for Race Against Time Gray Matter. I like the proportions. Yeah, I say original. Original yeah, I'm going with best. original. All right, here accelerate. We go. Oh, I I do like the original design, but the proportions on the Omniverse one are far more appealing to me. Omniverse really did bring bring something like slender to him. Like he looks speedy. I'm not a big fan of the the flat part of his helmet though, like where it's like pointed in classic. I wish they kept that helmet. In the original, you can feel like the spine going from his neck all the way down to the end of the tail. Whereas in Omniverse, it feels like the tail is just kind of shoved onto his ass. Oh, like the full curve from the yeah, top of his head exactly. all the way. It's, it's yeah. like alligator tail, kind of. Here, honestly, he doesn't look that great in Heroes United. Oh. Yeah, he's got kind of like a <laughs> face, yeah. long I'm face. I'm also with that one. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not really a fan of Gwen's Accelerate either. It looks like someone cosplaying as a Kinocelerin instead of an actual Kinocelerin. Oh, 10K's Accelerate. I've always loved 10K's that Accelerate. That one is I like really, the stripes. You almost had me with the Omniverse one, but I feel like I like 10K I get you. slightly It's a more. good design. Yeah. Upgrade. Oh, mm. oh God. Okay. I okay. feel like he gets worse and worse he the does. more they design him. I don't like the Omnitrix eye symbol. I think that's really bad. It looks like it's going on top of his eye in that. They even have a spot where all the black lines meet on his chest where the Omnitrix symbol would yeah. be perfect. Yeah, yeah it should, it should be right, right there. Right yeah, there? like UAF. Yeah. Yeah. yeah See, that works. That's fine. I like how the white breaks up the pattern. I think Heroes United did it pretty well, though. Can we look at that one? Oh, you mean the one where they forgot the Omnitrix? Where they symbol? forgot the Omnitrix <laughs> altogether. <laughs> okay, I take it back. Part of me wants to give it to 11-year-old Omniverse just because it does, like, the, the nice glowing lines and keeps the white. But I don't like the shapes of him. Like, if you look at, like, the way Omniverse, like, really gives him like knees got this big broad muscular chest it's got to go to it's got to go to classic upgrade original series with the rain poncho hands down best one. <laughs> oh, you know what i i meant to include the reboot in these discussions but they're on separate pages but honestly i don't know if there's any designs the reboot does better so. i like upgrade in the reboot i think he looks really cool i appreciate the fact that they tried to make him purple as to break up like all of ben's aliens having green i i feel like there's not going to 
to be a reboot design that can rival any of the Prime designs. Diamond Head. For me, it, it, it's OV all the way. UAF, actually, for me. I like how big his back spikes are in Omniverse. The proportions are just better for me. Like, he looks like a tank in the original series in UA and AF. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I was going to say, I kind of like the Heroes United one. We're all we're all mm. slapping different ones. Oh, You're not a fan? Not my favorite. No? I, I don't like the, the Chroma Stone hoodie onesie thing he has. Personally, it being a merger in between of, of Diamond Head and Chroma Stone, making that, like, organic connection between them. You <laughs> just love fusion. What about no, you it's not even for a fusion. I'm voting for Mad Diamond Head now. This is Green Day Diamond Head. Yeah. You know what? I think you could win me over on Omniverse Diamond Head. These and... In the arms. What about the giant chin, though? He's always had a giant chin. No, look at this. I mean... It's, it's big enough. It's protruding. I mean, but when well, you like... Derek likes big chins. You know this. We'll give it to Omni vs. Diamond Head. I'm okay. cool with that. I like it. I still say UAF, but it's fine. Stinkfly, I'm just gonna say it. I feel like it's a given. Original it's classic series. Stinkfly. Yeah. And Stinky Fly, I didn't really like. If they got rid of the pupils like the 10 year old version, I would have been on board for Stinky Fly. He's also one that really benefits from like the, the special shines that classic series did, mm -hmm. like the Perkins shine. Mm -hmm. Like when you see UAF. Oh uh, god, I Stink hate fly it. without uh, it. Just shadows. Yeah, he just... he looks pretty flat. You need the the reflective textures. In fact, kind of really like destroy all alien stink fly when you see all the weird oh, the texturing textures. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Could we give it to this one? Sure. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't like the chains on Ghost. Yeah, no, the chains don't look good to me. Especially the fact that they're green. I just whatever. This this was a huge miss in my opinion. I think it's a, a okay take. It's I a, just mm. it's a decent idea. You know me, I've never been a fan of uh the Omnitrix spawning things that are more than just a jumpsuit. Like once you start like getting tools and like gear and everything, like jury rigs and goggles. goggles. Yeah, it's like a right. what a, where does this end? We're like, not talking point, about jury rig yet. We will get there. <laughs> We're on I can't, I can't right wait now. to void for UAF jury rig. Ghost freak wise, I think original series. I appreciate the in-between they did for UAF Ben's version, but original series just looks so cool. I like the stripy tail. And the bones down his spine are, is kind of cool. Classic looks really cool. Yeah. I love that the Omnitrix is slightly covered, too. Genius in its simplicity. <gasps> I'm on fire! <gasps> you know, as great as Classic Heat Blast looks, he does not look good in promo art. He does. Like, without the, without the magma texture. I like Omni versus oversized pauldrons. I... I'm not a fan of them. Like, see, like when he's a figure, it just kind of looks oh. not that great. I still really like that, actually. You like that? Yeah, I like that stuff's popping out. No tectonic plate is ever going to be flush against the rest, even if there is a crack going around. He's got a point there, actually. I guess it makes sense when you defend it like that, but visually it doesn't look that appealing to me. Oh yeah, they they do have that little. Um, yeah, it's not it's not as emphasized there. as Omniverses, but I get what you're saying. I kind of like UAF. I feel like he is a pretty good in between. He's got the black shadows. Yeah, and he's got the the white inner highlight, so you don't really need the magma texture anymore. Maybe Boom's 10k dope. heat blast with the fire coming out of that them. one is really yeah. dope. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, OV or 10k. <laughs> what happened to my option? I love the black shadows so much, but I'm not attached to them. He could look pretty good without them. In that instance, I would say 10k. Okay, before we even get into this original series, I'm sorry. I understand that people like Omniverse because it's more monstery. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. Like, I like the weird fish shape he has, like, and how his jaw kind of extends into his torso. You don't really get that with uh, Omniverse's one. It just kind of looks like a neck. I like how big his arms are, and I love Love that he's hunched over. I, I'm not a fan of them putting that belt on everything. I think that was a bit overused. It does look like he translates pretty well to Omniverse's style with this yeah, image, yeah, but yeah. we didn't see a lot of young Rip Jaws. <laughs> no. I don't I don't like the catfish Rip Jaws. The generic money bag. <laughs> I love that shot so much. See, this looks really good to me, but I've seen Omniverse Rip Jaws in motion, and he doesn't really have the same kind of vibe as Classic. But I don't know, the more I look at him, he, does, he is starting to win me over. The monster proportion. They just do it for me. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go Omniverse flashback rip jaws. I think he's got it. Onward to Cannonbolt. To Cannonbolt. Cannonbolt. I was so freaking excited the first time I saw that a new alien was possible oh, for Ben yes. 10. This is probably my favorite design in its simplicity and in the Omnitrix placement because it goes in the ball when he rolls and it is not on the outside. When was it on the outside? Wah, wah, wah. It robs. <laughs> oh, All yeah, right. I forgot. 
the Omnitrix <laughs> has survived like world ending explosions, immense radiation, this and that. I highly doubt that it being on the outside of the shell is any real damage. If the Omnitrix can survive the universe blowing up, it can survive being on the outside of the shell. I would like to bring up the Omniverse episode where he fights a horde of zombie clowns. He is I guy, bumps the Omnitrix against a wall, and gets turned into Tope. Well, then he should keep it locked. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's on this him. Guy, That's on him. Cannibal is all about bumping. If he bumps into a wall, put in the cannibal turn dancing he gets. He's bumping. That's on him though, because remember in Forge of Creation when no, Ben was young, you. he was like, put it on the inside. Locked. Look at the change oh, God, between no. the two. The design's pretty much exactly the same, but it's another example of just the classic small touches. I don't like Omniverse Cannibal. I don't either. This is, he doesn't feel like a flat ball. on the inside. He's like he's he's not a ball. Now sumo cannon bolt. Oh. All right, so it's definitely classic cannon bolt. Hundred like, percent. Yeah. Classic is beating out everything currently. Th I think it's because they went so hard in the original series. All of them look so cool. Everything is so weird and alien. And detailed. And detailed. Like this. Like this especially. Like you can see the wrapping come down in these long, lanky. Like I, uh, I miss the wrinkles. Yeah. And then you swap over to Omniverse, and he's like well proportioned out. He's got elbows. He's got palms and hands. His vines are now symmetrical. But he has that belt again, man. Jim Reddy Wild. What the hell is... Well, I don't remember that episode. Original series. Yeah, classic. Series, classic. Yeah. Oh, my boy. The Gastro oh, gummy, gummy Bear. bear. I will say Classic definitely takes it for this too, but I also really do like UAF Upchuck. In fact, I think it was genius for Omniverse to make them two different species. Oh, 100%. Same, yeah. I'm even more shocked that they didn't put clothes on him. In fact, I forgot which alien it was. It, it might've been a joke, but Derek said they weren't included in Omniverse because he couldn't figure out how to put a suit on them. But like Upchuck had a suit and you took it away. But I love how like amorphous he looks when he runs. He's like a blob. Like he's a like freaky, an amoeba. He's like a cartoon cat. Look at him. Yeah. Blitz Wolf. Original, original series, original. end of conversation. Yeah. This is another one that I feel like is ruined by over-humanizing their proportions. Like, look how slender... I'm trying to just not use the word lanky for everything. What would you call it? Like, his arms just kind of droop down. He really does look like he's made of ribbons. They struck a perfect balance in making it seem like this could have inspired early pharaohs, but still make it look like its own being without looking too much like a pharaoh. I like how tiny his head is, too. It's offset by like the cloth coming down from around him. But if you look at just the head, it's literally just like a tiny little head. With the belt! Hold on, I gotta let my cat out. Got you. Kellen, do you want to talk about Gremlins 2 while he's gone so we can continue a bit I've been doing for four years? I have not seen it. Damn it. Actually. Okay. There are parts I really like about OV, but original is still really cool. How does how does UAs look? I always forget. It's just the original. It's, it's just it's the, yeah, just the original with less detail. I like the classics one because you can't really tell what he is. They look like stitches to us. Like different limbs are sewn together because we associate that with the tale of Frankenstein, but it's still like not exactly that. So it could be anything like tigers have stripes scenario like that, where it's just this weird pattern on him. Whereas I'm Universe, it literally is stitches. Those are stapled in there. Like that looks like it was added. And then if it was added, sure. But like, then what makes this alien this alien? I kind of like how Ovi made his back thingies more part of his shoulders and to give him that hunch. Yeah, I do like that. You can tell there was an iteration where he had the belt. They were just like, eh, let's not. Yeah, do let's <laughs> In fact, the pattern that they do for around the Omnitrix right here, that's what all of this should be. It shouldn't be literal stitches. That that takes it too far. Ben 23 turned into him, and it did look younger, but I don't think we've ever seen past Ben in Omniverse do it. I kind of like it. I like the little segmented bits on the legs. I have to for sure decide one, because this is going to be tough. True skin. I, I like Lightning Volt's design the best, then. Ooh, I love- Okay, I- Mm. <laughs> See, here, here's to contradict myself. I actually do like Omniverses a lot. Yeah. It's very cute. I like that it they is. leaned him into being more adorable. If the OG design had the uniform of uh, Omniverse, that would be my baby. Or even just some green trimming. So I will say I like classics better because to me, the design and the shape of him makes him look more blobby. And like you see how he kind of separates like a cell. And Omniverse doesn't give me that vibe, but also Omniverse doesn't do that when he duplicates an omniverse it's with like a green energy glow Where? my vote's classic again but if y'all want to vote omniverse, classic. i'll be overruled i'm classic. So classic i'm a sucker for orbs and 
and that kind of head shape. More orbs. orbs. I like orbs. What can I say? I... It's definitely UAF for this one, right? Original series. Mm -mm. Omniverse for me. What? Wait. Right, I was just I was just messing Three with you. Three ways. Wait, no, wait, wait, I, I wait, don't wait. I don't I don't actually like the UAF one, but it is funny me that neither. you both still did say something different. Wait, what? All right, what did you guys say? I say original series. I like Omniverses. A lot. Wait a second. Wait. Looking at them so side look by side now. Wait a minute. Look at look at his yeah. bicep to tricep torso. Like that's he's, so. He feels okay. so weird. Yeah. Yeah. Original. Yeah. Original. I love it. And like his little fins coming out of his hips. His design, out of all the original series designs, it feels like it has the most random details on there, like the the little things on his arm fins and stuff. And yeah. I think that makes sense because he's gigantic. Like he right. has more designs because there's more surface area. I don't like his feet buckles though. I love them. I, I love them. UAF just like took everything cool about him and threw him away. Now he's just big man. See, the thing about UAF is all the designs were just so bare bones. Yeah. Are we, wait, are we including <laughs> ultimates in this? Oh no. I don't think so. <laughs> it only ha really has. He no does design. only have one canonical design, but just for the sake of discussion, we could include the one that Derek drew, which um, is, I mean, I just want to acknowledge it, but yeah, I mean, this still goes to classic for me. I love Omniverse's, does, like, how, how, how do I put this? Their drawings always look very fine-tuned, and sometimes that's a big disadvantage. It, like, this, this looks way too cleaned up, way too perfect, and whereas this, it's like, it allows it to be ugly. Like, they're, they're like, this thing is just freaking hideous. Buzzshock. Original. Original, 100%. No contest. Yeah, this, this is... That, that ain't it. No, Art Iguana, I actually do feel like I might give it to OV. What's his UA look like? It's oh, okay. just that. Actually, that's Ooh. not... That's it's yeah. It is kind of the same. same thing though. Like I, I feel like if you were to pick U UA, you might as well pick classic. I do like the the unique fingers though. Like those are very different, and Omniverse just gets rid of them. I like how cute he is. I think it does work for him. But I feel like yeah, I, I gotta give it to classic again. Yeah. I guy. I guy. I really like the original because he feels like he's about to either fall over or float away. Like his anatomy is so weird but so funny. I just miss the weirdness. That was what was so cool about the OG aliens was they were just weird and they were weird yeah. for weird sake. The vast difference between the width of his legs starting at the bottom, then you go up, his biceps, his shoulders, his neck all kind of blend together into like this massive weird upper torso propped up by like this lollipop shaped torso. And you know, Omniverse, he's like a man with eyes. Tom Perkins, all of his art, I follow him on Twitter and I'm just obsessed with everything he posts. His art is Ben 10 in all the, and I mean that in all the best ways. Dave Johnson, he started it all, but I don't, I just don't see a lot of his other art outside of Ben. 10. I've I've looked it up and it's mostly humans and such at least from what I was able to come across But you know when I think of classic I I think of Tom Perkins. All right, we're done with the classics Yeah, we made it through now Here's where I feel like UAF art style does shine the thing with UAF aliens at least to me is the ones that were made for UAF like they start as a UAF alien I feel like primarily do look better, you know cuz Swampfire of course and of yeah I'm super biased. I know because he's my boy and here's my boy my boy my boy my boy <laughs> My boy! But just comparing him to Omniverse is like, I mean, I kind of like the swirls on the knees. That's kind of interesting. But when you get to his blossom form, it's like... I like his blossom form the best, actually. I... It's it's oh, not... Look, kill it. Kill it. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry. It just it just look at that to me shade so of much. green though. It's so cool though. That is the shade of mold. But it's a swamp. He's supposed to be that gross green. The blossom form I think is fine, but not like as swamp fire. I do kind of like Omniverse's proportions for him on his pre-blossom form. I do too. I like the badge placement on the stomach. I just I don't vibe with the blossom form. I very much do. I like I very much like it. Uh, the collar and everything. Look at his. You take like these nice like rooted uh, feet. There it kind of looks like a like two tree stumps, and then you get like green knight armor with a spike on it. I like, do, I I know I know, but I like this one's fingers better, and I like the little red plumes going up the arm. He does have the... cool fingers. I'll give him that. I I hate the collar. <laughs> I only kept the collar in five YL to respect the cannon, but I I hate the collar. I dig it. I don't know why I dig it. All right, I'm I'm hardcore UAF. Kellen's hardcore Omniverse. Ryan, where's this going? Uh, Omniverse base form. Oh, that's not. I think that one's the coolest one because the proportions. So we're we're all split on this one. I would vote Omniverse pre-Blossom over Blossom if I had to choose one that's not like 
my boy. Omniverse pre-blossom. Omniverse blossom. All right. Well, you're overruled, Kellen. <laughs> That's fine. We're we're not. We're only uh, saying our opinions on the best one. No, it is a competition, though. Is it a competition? <laughs> this no. is the collective no. <laughs> ink tank opinion. I like Omniverse a lot. Uh, no. Yeah, I I feel like I can give this one to Omniverses. I kind of like the bulging eyes in the sense that like he's so full of sound that like those parts are popping out. I... Ryan's over here dying. I hate him. I hate Omniverses. I Why? Get, this is, uh, look, this look, is so look. much. I think the original Echo Echo is just so boring. They waddle around like penguins. And That's it just, cute. I, no. Yeah, I'm on Kellen's side with this one. Uh, I'm giving it to Omniverse. <laughs> me too. Y'all overpowered me. It's fine. I've never liked Humongous or period. What? So. Yeah, same. He is no. boring. Look, that's boring. Listen, he is listen. a human dinosaur. That's it. Okay, boring. a design that people love that's just a human guy with things on him. Forearms. This, I like more than forearms in all of Forearms is different, though. I'm not, this I'm not is a forearms. He's just a dinosaur, bro. It's, I, that's it. Look, he's a dinosaur man. UAF completely. I hate the spandex and the beauty pageant sash. <laughs> it's called a bandolier. I like that he's not naked anymore. I don't like the speed. I don't, I, I I don't care about him being naked. I feel like Humongousaur could get away with being naked. You know what? My favorite Humongousaur is actually the reboot one. Yes, yes. I can agree with that. I'll happily give it to the reboot one. Because he has the, the tail mace. The only one that hasn't gotten any is UAF so far. It's about to get one, though. You know why? Because there's no other <laughs> option. <laughs> Does that count, though? UAF. No, no, no. Yeah. There is a Derek one. Yeah. There is a Derek one, but I don't like it. We can take a he look goes, at it. Uh, First of all, the outfit... Let's just ignore the outfit. He's a lot more like dull pink than he is like like Jet Ray. I Crimson love him red. being like a yeah a very it's saturated good. red. Yeah. Look at his gills, like the shape. Freeze oh. ghost. <laughs> Alien swarm, big chill for me. I like um, Heroes United. Whoa. I didn't really like Heroes United. Big chill. His that patterns much. are weird. They yeah, don't he, line up I, in he any felt kind of sloppy to me. I, what kills the Omniverse one for me is the cloaked form. Like once yeah. it's all yeah, it cloaked up, it, mm. that's that's not great. Is there a reboot picture? There is. He's got he's got smaller wings and he's much more round. No, so. it's the no, same no, thing. No, 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 okay, no. just original then. Now we got Chromastone. Chromastone. Chromastone's another. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh god. Mm. I've seen some pretty solid cases made for this, and I'm not trying to hate on the people who do like this one better. Um, but you know, it's okay to have wrong opinions. Um, <laughs> Yeah, simplicity is better here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if the smart crab was a sumo? Do you like the belt? I Do you like the sumo crab? <laughs> I forgot they gave him that. They also took away some of his legs. That's a classic Ryan move. I like the gray matter thing they did. The suit stripe is pretty cool. To be fair, the original one did have the belt as well. I kind of like the black sections on his legs there. To segment them. I like the eye, uh, eyes and face better. The head shape is like streamlined into the torso rather than giving him a chin. But I like the bottom portion of this brain. Storm yeah, this this could go. Wait, wait, wait. What was that Heroes United one? <laughs> oh yeah, they, yeah. You guys want to consider this one real quick? Omniverse Brainstorm was better. Look at him hanging from his claws. I have never liked Spider Monkey at all. But if we have to choose, I, I like Omniverse because of that uh, harness. I feel like I'm indifferent. I say the original. I like it more. If they would have made him look more insect with the proportions of a monkey, I think that would have worked better. The six eyes on Omniverse Spider Monkey, I do think works a bit well. Yeah, I'm still on Omniverse yeah. Spider Monkey. I've been overruled. Suffer. Why does he have a beak now? Why did he need that? Well, look, what is that? That's one of the elements I don't enjoy. I like the overall body proportions a bit more because the original goop feels kind of stiff, even though he's supposed to be made out of stuff. Nah, look, he's I like disagree. melting and like this whole thing looks like there's a lot of fluidity. He looks more like Jello. I, I would hazard to say he looks more viscous. In Omniverse, he looks like soda. I don't really like how there's no real flow to the way that the goop is coming up on it. I always loved how this shaped directly to the UFO, like everything was rising up towards that. I do like the Omnitrix symbol on the UFO, though. I do think that was a Me smart too. choice for I, I think that's smarter, but the rest I give it to the original. Yeah, I agree. Mm. Now, this one is pretty much just like, how swole do you want your god to be? I honestly really like the stupid big chin on Omniverse. I think it works for what it is.
I like that he has a more serious shape in the original one. I think that gives him a bit more foreboding mystery. The humor is too much in the big chin for me. I can't take him as seriously and as much of a threat. This is one of the aliens that Omniverse really should have just let be an absolute badass. There are elements of it I like. Like, I do like how there's, like, different sparkles and, like, the stars, whereas uh, UA, they're all kind of dots. Yeah. But then again, like, if you look at, like, his crown, the three spikes look very prominent and heroic even. And in Omniverse, they kind of just look like an afterthought. It doesn't look like the face is made to have those three spikes. They made the face and then just stuck them on there out of obligation. This one, I, I feel like I want to give it to Alien Swarm. No, you're right. Alien Swarm is the coolest. What do you think, Ryan? <sighs> I don't like any of them. <laughs> I'd, I'd say Omniverse if I had to pick one. I do like how his suit is, like, shiny, though. Very, very close second for me. Like, I, I think what, what sells it for me is I like the circuit patterns. Like, even UAF kept the circuit the patterns. The circuit patterns are cool. Here, he doesn't have any of the circuit patterns anymore, and I feel like that's... That's the green bits, isn't it? That doesn't... It's not as obvious. Yeah. I'm gonna give it to Alien Swarm. Me too. I'm giving this one to Omniverse. I, I like the head crown thing they gave him, and I like the proportions better. Bigger claws, bigger feet are cool. See, I, I'm not a big fan of the head crown, but I also don't care about it enough to have it ruin the design. I do like the head shape more, too. So Luchador Wrath. No. Oh, yeah, Heroes United Wrath. Oh, that's the best one. He looks so swole. Look at that muscle definition. He looks like he actually has fur. The reboot one's a pretty good contender. That's not bad. Reboot one's cool. Actually, I don't, actually, I don't really like how fat the claws are. I still think Heroes United takes it for me. Yeah, Heroes United is the solid best, in my opinion. We've been recording almost two hours. Wow, this is gonna be a lot to sort through. Omniverse is better. I felt that way for a while, too, until I realized there's some things I like about UAFs that it doesn't have, like the, the gauntlet shapes for his hands, and also some of the black splotches. I do think there's a lot Omniverse does much better. I like the eye shape. Yeah, same. I say Omniverse. Omniverse. I actually like the original more. Yeah, same. The extra fins oh, on the those side. those are nice. How they kind of come down into like a rowboat paddle, whereas here, I, I don't know what they're going with it. It looks like feathers, kind of. I don't like the shape of his poncho. The only thing with the Omniverse I like more is the shape of his eyes. It makes it feel more jellyfish to me and i like that they're cool i just i i still like the original's eyes better fair mm -hmm. armadrillo is another hard one for me because like there's some things i like about both of them the original head shapes better but omniverse body is better and omniverse takes it from me omniverse yeah not much difference huh wait Omni no. wait a <laughs> second <laughs> that threw me off for a second i was like wait which is which <laughs> there are less holes in omniverse but i like the feet better and the shoulders better i like how uaf you did see a, a bit of the depth in the holes. I think that small element does really make a difference, but I do think Omniverse is better ultimately. NRG. They made him a trash can. They did make him a trash can. Honestly, I kind of like that about it, though. What about Mad NRG? Uh, Two punk rock for you? It's too, too, is it too cool for you? I like what they changed about the uh, feet tips. Not a fan of the bolts, but yeah. I agree, though. The bolts kind of make it a bit too too messy for me. I, I'd be okay if the bolts didn't have the slits in them. I also don't really like how the head is blended into the body in the Omniverse one. Alrighty. Lots to talk about with this one. Didn't Derek make a fast He track? did make a fast I track. like the Derek one a lot. No, no, no. That's not it. Go back. The first one to the left. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he did make a Chester Cheetah edit. <laughs> I do like Omniverse's more. It feels more unique anatomy instead of just a guy. I like him with the sunglasses. I don't like how the suit pattern, like, dips into the belt and overlaps. To me, if, like, if it's gonna be the same, like, I would have gotten rid of that and just made it all one connected shape. I don't think that it cuts onto it. Yeah, but it lines up flush with the, the arrow. Yeah, it's called Fashion Rob. I'm gonna give it to Omniverse with the shades. I'm gonna give it to Omniverse as well. I have a lot of reasons to disagree, but I'm not passionate enough to defend it, so I'll just give it to Omniverse. Chameleon had another. Derek did do one, and I... Oh. Huh. I think it, it suffers the Omniverse problem of giving him too many fine-tuned proportions. He doesn't need, like, elbows and, like, an angular tail. Like, this, this looks like a very slippery guy. Like, from the head all the way to his tail, it's just one clean shape. You know, when you see him in motion, he's, like, slithering around. I can't picture this guy slithering around. Me neither. Nah. Eatle. That's a very easy one. Omniverse wins. The alien that had no yes. reason to exist because Upchuck is there. UAF Edel and UAF Jury Rig tie with me as like the worst designed aliens of all time. Derek breathed new life into this one and he really needed it. Bravo. Uh, now clockwork. Uh, for me, I feel like it's easy to like get lost in the detail of the key looking better in the head shape, but also I kind of don't like how the fingers are kind of plopped onto the arm. I, I, I don't know. I, I think clockwork does, does 
does benefit from more humanoid features. That's my favorite clockwork design right there. Ten year old clockwork. It's yeah, cute. That's my it's vote. good. I'm I'm going against my own my own taste because I just think that UAFs works better. I like it better as a key. No, definitely. But I I'm still gonna, I'm gonna give it to UAF I agree. clockwork. UAF fine. This is interesting because they're so different, and I love both of them. Yeah, I do like them. I if I had to pick between the two, I do prefer uh, Heroes United though. There's something really cool about Omniverse. I I love the head fork thing. I like the Heroes United one more because it breaks the whole big buff guy anatomy that a lot of the aliens have. I also kind of like like his like toe knuckle. Kind of cool. Yeah, it's almost like going on. goat feet. Oh boy. Sorry, Rick! I don't like either of these. Me neither. I don't care what anyone says. I love Omniverse Jury Rig. Granted, yes, it's a bit much with the goggles and the scarf. Definitely lose the scarf. Yeah, the Omnitrix <laughs> manifesting like a whole flight suit. That's when it really started pushing it for me. I was just like, what, yeah. what's even happening here with these aliens? I'll give it to Omniverse out of comparison. Omniverse only because because there is more green. Basically, it's like young or old feedback. Oh, you know what's interesting? In the young version, his tendril overlaps the arm, but in the old one, it goes underneath. I like old one. I like 16 I like the year old, old one too. Yeah, teen feedback. All right. There's only one design for blocks. I like Ben 23. Yeah. Build a guy. It's more cohesive colors. Instead of all the primary colors, I like the fact that it's like shades of one color. If I have to choose build a guy. Bu build a guy takes it. Well, I see a lot of blocks defenders coming out of the woodworks every now and then and you know what i'm glad that there's people out there that enjoy him so he's not like a total sore thumb on the franchise but you'll never catch me out here praising blocks nor i no grab attack is awesome grab attack is very awesome now we're getting to the point where like there's no real differences we, no. we've never and seen anything different no from him, no so. technically there was some art of him that was miscolored one time oh this was when he was originally promoted and then this is his real color in the show and i actually i like the pre yeah, yeah, yeah that one I looks do. better to me <laughs> yeah the yeah. wrong colored one. I don't think he hit, yeah, there's no other forms. He's adorable. That's yeah. fine. He's it's just him. Rob, isn't he great? Uh, 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 he's as great as Jury Rig. Wow. I like him more than Jury Rig. I like him more than Jury Rig, too. I don't know. Something about Ball Weevil I've never vibed with. The more I try to dissect it and think about it, I don't even have any good reason. I'm just a hater. Alright. <laughs> Fair. Waka Trout's got no competition either. Oh wait, there there is a reboot Waka Trout. I like those better. I like the eyes. This makes him look like there's too much thought behind that face, and I don't want to sympathize it's a with this. Sentient fish. species. There should be thought behind the face. Nope. Pesky dust. Didn't they do 99? You know something? I don't think they should have turned the gloves blue. I think that was a step too far. I think the, the white helps break it up a little bit more. I still like pesky dust. I think I'm gonna go with regular pesky dust too. Molstash, I know hundred percent doesn't have a counterpart because Ben 23 said he doesn't have him. Look the way the Omnitrix is drawn. This is this is official art. In the writer's room, they said, what if there was an alien that was just Cartman? It's overly pathetic. I feel like you can still have the concept of the worst without putting him in underwear. I do like that the, the Omnitrix is in his belly button. <laughs> I like Liam more. Does that count? No. <laughs> Big chicken, man. Tope. It's just the one still, yeah. Astrodactyl, there is a fusion that is concept art from the show. Does that count? No. Mm. So, I like the incursion suit a lot more. Yeah, I kind of do too. I like the full-on gloves. I like the incursion suit with the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Atomic's got no competition. Well, Gut Rot has a uh, different Ben. I like OG Gut Rot better. That's that's kind of it for aliens with actual different designs. I mean, Vampire has his little bat form. I like that more <laughs> than the actual. <laughs> Imagine if that was the whole alien. That's kind of that's kind of it. I mean, there's three ultimate forms that do have differences that we could talk about. I was thinking about saving them for a sequel but there, there's not enough for a sequel. Yeah, basically Albedo's versus Ben's. Oh, Albedo. Albedo, 100%. Albedo looks so cool and he looks like a nightmare to animate. It looks like his muscles have become mechanical and are tearing out of his flesh. I don't really like Omniverse's Ultimate Me neither. Hey. Me neither. I, I think the original one is just streamlined enough. You know what? I can agree and, with that, actually. Now, Ultimate Spider Monkey, I feel like we could go back and forth oh, on. I, Omniverse, I like a lot more. Well, see, here's the thing. You were just talking about trying to make spider monkey more insectoid which the ultimate form does and then omniverse takes that away he's more monkey i don't think no 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 i don't think sticking spider legs to his ribs makes him more insectoid that is just a, a gorilla with stilts i kind of like the stilts i think they're both stupid i second that i still think it's just the little details of like the spiky fur and stuff like that i do think looks better i think his jaw opening up looks better that is dope yeah. as hell i don't know something something 
something about this. I don't know, man. You, I just man, you even see the cracks on his stomach where his stilts would have came out. All right, between the two, I I feel like I'm willing to, to give my vote to Omniverse, but not because I like it. I just don't want to fight you on it. I'll do Omniverse just because that's what everyone else is doing. I yeah. hate peer pressure. Follow the crowd. <laughs> So that's it. I mean, we made it through all of them. It looks like a lot of the aliens introduced in their own era is where the art style shines the most. And I guess that's just like shows like a lot of the aliens are designed for the world they're in. And when you try like taking them and putting them into another world, it's a lot harder to maintain what made them good in the first place. That's the moral of the story, kids.